Hello, I'm Nathan Donahue. I'm an applied physics major here at St. Mary's College of Maryland. This video will encompass everything the physics department here has to offer, including classes, research with our professors, and internships on and off campus. Here at St. Mary's, there are two physics majors offered, applied and fundamentals. Students may also minor in physics and astrophysics. The classes offered for the physics department are fundamentals, quantum mechanics, electricity and magnetism, electronics, mechanics, and astrophysics. And the topics for applied physics currently is physics of light. Hi, I'm Derek Kozak, another physics major here at St. Mary's. Next, we will discuss the research students may participate in here on campus. Hello, so I'm Dr. Michelle Milne. I'm an associate professor of physics at St. Mary's College of Maryland, and I work in the field of acoustics. And in particular, I use ultrasound, which is sound higher than humans can hear, to study the acoustic properties of tissue. I do this in the hopes that what I learn in the lab can be used by physicians to help improve their treatment that you might receive when you go in for, say, a cardiac ultrasound in the hospital. Hello, I'm Erin Dupree, Associate Professor of Physics at St. Mary's College of Maryland. I'm currently building a radio telescope to measure all of the measure how much hydrogen is in the galaxy, how fast it's moving, and then we can look and see how fast the galaxy is rotating. We'll then see that we don't have enough stuff in the galaxy. This unseen stuff is known as dark matter. This piece here is the motor to control which direction our telescope is pointing. Hi, I'm Jackie Villadson. I'm an assistant professor of physics at St. Mary's. My research uses radio wavelength telescopes, such as the Very Large Array in New Mexico, to study giant stellar explosions called stellar flares. And the reason I'm studying these is to understand how they impact planets around nearby stars to understand the prospects for life in other solar systems. Hi, I'm Chuck Adler. I'm a professor of physics at St. Mary's College of Maryland. The apparatus that you see behind me is used for trapping and cooling atoms. It can, tra it can cool atoms down to a temperature of less than a thousandth of a degree above absolute zero. There's applications including building ultra-precise atomic clocks and finding oil wells. The other work that I do um, is the study of atmospheric optics, that is the study of sky phenomena such as the rainbow and things like why the sky is blue and the sunset is red. This has applications for understanding meteorology in general. Hi, I'm Professor Josh Grossman. I'm chair of the physics department here at St. Mary's College of Maryland. I do research here in this lab with uh, lots of students. We're using lasers and magnetic fields heading towards trapping and manipulating individual atoms above a microchip. This can be used for uh, investigating quantum information, the building blocks of quantum computers. Uh, we also do related work. I've worked with a large number of students in collaboration with the Navy at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River nearby. And there we're, again, using lasers to capture and manipulate uh, atoms, but usually a large number of them uh, as the basis for sensors that can be used to detect magnetic fields or uh, acceleration, rotation for inertial navigation. So this is an apparatus that uh, was built with students we use it for measuring the properties of quantum entangled photons. This is uh, useful for studying the basics of quantum mechanics, but also it's related to the physics behind quantum cryptography, which is a set of physically secure uh, communication protocols, unbreakable codes. Students may participate in off-campus internships near St. Mary's, including Patuxent Naval Air Station and Indian Head Naval Base where the Navy tests its aircraft, onboard systems, energetics, and explosive ordnance. Students have also done summer programs at NASA, the American Physical Society, the National Institute of Health, Johns Hopkins Applied Laboratory, Georgetown, Purdue, nuclear power plants, and many others. We hope you enjoyed this video, and for more information, please visit the St. Mary's Physics website.